everybody welcome back in today's video we're gonna look at the palindrome number problem this has been asked multiple times in Facebook interviews so let's dive right in given an integer X we need to return true if X is palindrome an integer is palindrome when it reads same backward as forward for example 121 is palindrome but 123 is not palindrome 121 is palindrome because it reads as 121 forward or backward but 123 reads 3 to 1 backward so that's why 123 is not palindrome similarly minus 121 is not equal to 121 minus and that's why it's not palindrome and similarly example 3 1 0 is not same as 0 1 and that's why it's not palindrome number Okay, now let's understand this problem with help of an example. Let's take 1, 2, 3, 4, 3, 2, 1 as our input number. So because this is an integer, we're going to have to convert it into a string so that we can traverse through each character and compare it with other digits to see whether it's palindrome or not. So we're going to create a new string and we're going to name it x as string equal to string dot value of x okay now we are going to create a begin pointer and point to the first character of the string okay and then we are also going to create an end pointer and point it, to, point it to the last character of the string. So let's declare those pointers int begin pointer equal to zero since it's referencing to the zeroth character and int end pointer equal to x as string dot length minus one so that would be our last character of the string now we will compare the character at the begin pointer with the character at the end pointer if both these characters are equal then we will increment the begin pointer to the next character and decrement the end pointer to point to the previous character and then we will compare the character again say so begin and end pointer and we will continue to do that so now let's write the logic for our comparison okay if x dot sorry x as string dot character at begin pointer equal to equal to x as string character at end pointer if those two characters are equal then begin pointer plus plus and end pointer minus minus okay now if this character let's say 2 is equal to 2 so condition is satisfied now we're going to increment the begin pointer to 3 and let's say our string instead of having 3 here let's say we have uh, number 6 here in that case we will be decrementing the end pointer to point to the previous character and we will point to 6. Now we will compare 3 with the number 6. Now this condition is not satisfied so we now already know that this number is not palindrome so we can return false. So if the condition doesn't satisfy we will say else return false. Okay. But let's say so if the number is 3 here as well as here then we will continue to compare and we will do that as long as the begin pointer remains less than or equal to end pointer so we're gonna code the loop part now while begin pointer is less than or equal to end pointer okay and at the end 
if all the characters match then we will return true okay it was accepted okay thank you so much for watching this guys if you did not understand anything in this video please leave it in the comments below and i'll make sure to explain that and be elaborative in the next videos if you want to watch more lead code videos click here and if you want to watch more system design videos click here okay